Woohoo! I've thought long and hard. Wait, did he just say long and hard? There are 13 year olds all over YouTube now going, ha 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 ha, he said long and hard. Right, I've thought for a long time about whether or not I should do this video because it does give away some sort of trade secrets. But I realized that my job in the niche that I've chosen, which is content creation, streaming, and things like that, my job is to help you make the best of your stream and to help you be a success. I help you to level up your streams. That's the content that I make. So I needed to do this video because it will help you. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So in this video, I'm going to be going through some absolutely essential commands that you need to add onto your stream that really people have come to expect on Twitch and YouTube gaming. I've then got a part two to this video, which is the desirable commands that you should be adding to your channel or something similar just to get your creative juices flowing. The objective of those desirable commands, they're not like essential stuff, but they might make your viewers just feel that little tingle here and there. Not, not like that, okay? Get your mind out of the gutter, okay? And let's be honest, you want to be making your viewers feel awesome. You want to be making them feel good. If you're watching this, there's a pretty good chance that you're a fairly new streamer or that you're just revisiting your chatbots and your commands and things like that. If so, first of all, if you're unsure about how to set up Cloudbot on your stream, there is a link in the description on how you can set it up. And then there's another video in the description, which is how to add custom commands. I'm not going to go through the details of how to add them because I've covered that already. This is purely going to be the commands themselves and using variable commands to make the most of them. As always, if you find this useful, hit the like button, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to come out on my stream, if you want to come and hang out on my stream, I mean, you can come out on my stream. I I I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm wearing a Flamingo t-shirt, for example. But look, if you want to come out on my stream, I don't care. But if you want to come and hang out on my stream, that is also fine as well, okay? But you would do that at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. I'm going to stop digging a hole right now. Let's get into this. Okay, so I'm not getting into exactly how you add all these custom commands, but essentially it's going to be within the CloudBot section and commands. Make sure this is toggled on. Make sure you've modded Streamlabs. You add the command with this. So I've got about five pages of commands at the moment. These are custom commands. You have custom default variables and some settings within this section here. I'm going to be using a combination of the variable fields that are available, but I'm going to be using them within the custom section. So I'm creating a command using some of the variables. Hopefully that makes sense. And just to give you a feel. These are all the different variables and you can click into these to see some examples of how these variables are used. So if you're struggling for some like creativity beyond this video for the essential stuff and then the second video for the desirable commands, just have a look at the variables tab and see what you can get out there and also do a bit of research on YouTube and stuff like that. You may also just want to check on the default commands as well because there are a lot of default commands that use some desirable functions and every single one of these commands you can change with the pencil button on the right hand side. And just make sure that whenever you do doing any of these commands that you inject some of your own personality into the commands, okay? Just, just make it humorous. So the first command I'm going to go into is the followers command. This is where someone can check the amount of followers you've got without having to look below because moving your eyeballs below the screen, it's really difficult, isn't it? Just to like, yeah. So obviously I've used the command exclamation point followers. A lot of people tend to use that, but obviously you can use what you want. And I also, for all of these commands and every single response message that I have on my cloud bot, I type forward slash me. That will just color the text the same color as your bot color, which just allows you to distinguish the messages. Just a little tip. So don't be alarmed if you see forward slash me at the start of every single example that I show you now. So this schema uses the Towser.followers variable, and it's basically Machine Dana's current Twitch follower count is this. I found people use this a lot. It's an essential command to use. Just add it. It's easy to do. But of course, you can add some extra text off the other side of this. For example, woohoo! And some emojis or something like that. I highly recommend the aubergine emote and the peach emote, such as let's get our pants down here for my stream title and rust. I spend a lot of time naked in rust, okay? Don't, don't judge me. To see an example of how this works, there you go. Haha, uh -huh, 69. <laughs> the second essential command will be followage. This is where someone can check how long they've been following you. Now, this isn't something you can obviously just check randomly. And, and no one likes rumors, okay? No one likes to speculate how long someone's been following your channel. So just give them the facts, okay? Just give them straight facts. Exclamation point followage tends to be one that's used a lot on Twitch. But again, you can use your own here. Forward slash me. This uses the variable Towser name. That's the name of the person that's doing the command. Has been following the channel with, and that's the name of the channel, in my case, machine Dana for, and then it's Tows of followers. This variable here will take their follower date and divide it by 
quick maths. It'll calculate how long they've been following your channel, okay? And that's good because it creates a little bit of competition, actually. The OGs know that they're OGs. The new ones can start to feel more like OGs the longer they're on your channel. It works, okay? Just do it. I'm going to use my wife's account here to demonstrate how this works because I obviously don't follow my own channel, but my wife does, obviously. I hope. Nine months and four weeks. I mean, that's about as long as I've been streaming, so I'm okay with that. By the way, feel free to follow my wife if you want. I mean, she doesn't stream, but maybe one day she will. And I guarantee if she does, she'll be way better than I am, okay? So on the theme of viewers being able to check certain things about their time on your channel, they may want to check their watch time on your channel. So the next one I'm going to go through is watch time at and then username. This will tag them in the post of the person that's doing the command. Has watched the stream for variable user.time is a variable that shows the hourly amount of time that someone has watched your stream for. And I think it uses the CloudBot loyalty system, which is based on this tab here, to calculate what that time is rather than the Twitch time. But I need to check that. Again, I'll demonstrate with wifeys. Magical Gems have been watching the stream for 600 hours. Wow. He just can't get enough. This might seem like a really obvious one, but people have come to expect the watch time one. And to be honest, it does create a little bit of competition with the viewers. You're also, as the streamer, as they're checking these things, able to sort of passively monitor who are more loyal and less loyal viewers. This is particularly important if the less loyal viewers are causing some issues on your channel for moderation purposes and things like that. You may want to just consider moderating them more heavily if they're not even watching your channel, but being very disruptive when they are there, if that makes sense. And also, you may just want to reward the more loyal viewers when they hit a certain level, for instance, you could offer a giveaway or a prize or something like that when someone hits 500 hours or like 5,000 hours. The next one we're going to get into is game. This one's pretty obvious, but sometimes people forget to change their games and their titles. Exclamation point game will just allow someone to check the game that's currently being set or you as the streamer could even do it as well. Sometimes people will join the stream and they might not even know what game you're playing. So there is like more of a practical reason why this would be here. So exclamation point game. In my case, I'm not streaming right now. So it puts what the last game category you were playing. And sometimes it'll say things like, is playing just chatting or is playing food? There's not much I can do about that, okay? If you want to play with your food, just do it. But there is a more informative command that you can use here, which is the stream command. This gives key information about the stream, including the title. I've put this as exclamation point stream, but again, you could put about, you could put streaming now or something like that as the command there. Again, forward slash me to call the text. The title uses the channel title variable. The game is the channel game variable and viewers is the channel viewers. So it's the current number of viewers on the channel and what game is being played. Just to demonstrate this, so as you can see there's the title there are no viewers i'm not streaming right now and the game was rust the next command is uptime sometimes people just like to see how long you've been streaming for maybe you want to see how long you've been streaming for the stream has been live for and then it's just uptime as the variable again don't forget with these things to be putting some extra content after them please do customize all of these with emotes and your own personality otherwise it's just a little bit boring i'm giving you the most boring version of it here but every single one of these on my stream have been customized to my personality my stream and my viewers but normally that would say how long you've been live for and it just uses the timer that's normally located underneath the screen next we're going to talk about lurk so if you don't know what a lurker is where have you been hiding but lurkers are people that are sort of there as a viewer but perhaps they're not really paying as much attention or they might be doing something else or they might be downstairs making love to their dog or something i mean that's a really bad example that's probably not what your viewers are doing and i also don't condone making anyway having a command that allows people to state that they are lurking just helps you as the streamer distinguish who is actually there and who is not there because the last thing you want to be doing is talking to somebody that is downstairs making love to something you're just not going to get a response, okay? So this is just a manual one. It doesn't use the variable at all, but it's just like a courteous command to add to your channel. Next, we're going to go into actually the command list itself. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. Exclamation point command will allow you to either manually list key commands within your channel, or you can link people to a list of commands that exist on your channel. Now, if you're using CloudBot to do this, which if you're on this video, I think you probably are. If you do have a Prime upgrade, you will then probably have a website 
website that has a donation page where you can take donations through Streamlabs Online and you can customize the URL and stuff like that if you've paid for Prime. By the way, if you do pay for Prime, use my affiliate link below. It will get you money off your Prime, okay? And it also helped me. So just, just help us both out by using the link. But on that website that you get from Streamlabs Online, when you upgrade to the Prime, you can add a section, which is a CloudBot section, which lists automatically all of the commands that you've allowed to be listed. In my case, I've got a list of stuff that's in my store, my loyalty store listed, like sound redeems. But I've also got a section down here, which is commands. That's a default panel within the website builder from Streamlabs Online that lists the different commands that are on CloudBot. So if anyone wants to browse through those commands, they can do that easily because you've pointed them to it through an actual command. But if you don't have a website from Streamlabs Online or another donation page where you've listed all of those, you could easily just set up a Google Doc. You could set up an Excel Doc or you could just list them within the actual command itself. But just be warned here, there is a 250 character limit within CloudBot and most of the other bots out there also have a limit on the characters used. There it is in use, as you can see. Oh look, there's some emojis to make it look a little bit more interesting. The final command I'm going to go into is one that probably isn't essential, but I feel like there's so much help and support that people give each other on Twitch and YouTube Gaming that if you don't have this on your stream, you're probably going to look like an idiot or at least ungrateful. So having a shout out command, usually it's exclamation point SO. I'll show you how to do this shout out in a second, but check out target name at target URL. They were playing target game. So this is a person's name and it will be a link to their Twitch page and it will be the game that they were last playing in the game category. And this is all pulled from the API through CloudBot and displayed in chat. But you don't just do exclamation point SO here. You actually have to at a person. For example, wifey, magical gems. I don't think she's streamed ever, but I'll do this shout out anyway so that you can see what it looks like so then you can just shout out people that raid you that host you give you bits back rubs just shout anyone out whatever you want so i've actually changed mine to be so shout because of reasons check out the second video the desirable thing like th there's a reason why i've actually more customized this rather than having a generic shout out but if you don't want to do the thing that i'll talk about in the second video just having a general shout out works so mine is actually so shout and that will then return the url the person's name and what they were playing last my wife was playing null sounds like a really cool game so this just allows you to thank people whenever something nice happens it can be absolutely anything it doesn't have to be stream related it's just nice to shout people out and show your appreciation to them and kind of encourage your other viewers to show appreciation to them as well. This sort of thing can create a positive vibe in your stream, and that's really, really important. Nobody wants to join a stream where it's just full of drama and toxic and negative, okay? People want positive streams. People want positive affirmation. They want to feel good when they join your stream. Otherwise, why would they join? So there you have it. Hopefully you found this useful. These are what I view to be absolutely essential commands that you, you really need to have on your channel. If you don't have these, it only takes 10, 20 minutes to set these up. You're basically just being lazy, okay? Stop being lazy. Now what you need to do once you've set these up is check out the second video in the series, which goes through more desirable stuff that's going to make your viewers feel even better and just some cool things that are really informative and useful to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Place this on him. Like, can I not place this down?